Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, we'll be learning how we can animate a loader with GreenSock. We will get into understanding GreenSock animation and also coding the same loader with CSS as well. For reference, you can also find the CodePen link down below. So let's get started. So we'll be coding a pretty simple animation, which is right this one right here, as you can see, we'll have a three rounded objects and it would jump with some delay in between. So if you guys don't know what is GreenSock, GreenSock is ultra high performance animation library uh, for modern web. So uh, it has a lot of great features. Uh, you can visit their documentation as well and find a lot of resource that we can use with GreenSock. And recently GreenSock has been updated and uh, they have introduced a lot of good features like scroll monitor and a lot of uh, things inside it. I have also created my code pen so that we can go along with the uh, uh, code as well. So uh, let's get into the code. So first uh, I will uh, create the animation with GreenSock. For that let's create a basic markup for now. I'll create a div for class and call it dots and inside here I can add another class and call it dots in for now and then let's copy three divs as we have three dots right so uh, I think we are okay pretty much okay for our markup for our CSS let's add some uh, basic reset for our CSS right here and then we can write body and then body uh, let's give it a height of 100 view height for now and then we will change our CSS to SCSS uh, save and close and then let's also add some colors to our body as well now let's add some dots and for this one I will use CSS3 flex box so display flex and then position would be absolute and then we, we can have some kind of centering as well and let's also add transform as well so that we can center it when the objects are in absolute position as well so minus 50 percent and then now let's go ahead and work with our dots in and for that one let our add dots in here and add a width of 20 pixel and height of 20 pixel as well and then i'll add background color for the dots and then for that i'll grab some hex code and paste it over here and then we can also add a bit of border radius of 50% and then margin right to create some space between the dots of 15 pixel and then we can also add margin zero to our last style because we have added margin right to dots in yeah i think we're pretty much done with html and css for now let's move ahead and import greensock for that i'll go to the greensock documentation and go to the home screen where we will have a cdn link i'll copy this one and i'll add them to our dependency library right here and then save and close so yeah greensock 
has been uh, successfully added. Now let's move ahead and add some features that are introduced by GreenSock. So first let's select our dots with document.query selector and then now let's also create a constant and name it jump and inside here we can add el as our first parameter and then inside here we can use uh, the method that has been provided by GreenSock and the method that we will use is gsap2 so um, gsap2 is a common type of animation which helps us to define the destination values and also um, animate in terms of the values that we provide as well and uh, as you can see here we also um, can add some parameters um, like targets and give some target and vars and add some delay uh, ease and duration to um, uh, to the element as well so uh, we'll be using ease duration and delay as well and then uh, the other thing that we will also use is the yo-yo so um, it's actually uh, the reputation iteration uh, uh, which will run uh, in the opposite direction uh, that the twin appears to go back and forth so we'll add this as well so um, uh, it's a pretty basic loader for now so uh, for now uh, let's write dot to method and then inside here so inside here we can add our ease so ease uh, right here you can see none but if you search for ease we can also see the ease visualizer as well so which are something like similar to cubic bezier so that uh, it it will have a different kind of animation um, so uh, for for now we will uh, use uh, just a linear uh, linear kind of uh, easy for now so uh, we will write linear dot ease and then we'll we can also uh, give the translate uh, translate as well and uh, we can translate the y-axis with minus 15 and then we can also give it the yo-yo value and then and let's also add a repeat and give it a reputation and we can re repeat minus one and then add a duration duration of 0 0.5 and we'll also give a delay for that we will we can add a second parameter and call it a delay and for the delay we will just add a delay over here and we can define the delay here and give it 0 0.2 seconds of delay and then I think we are pretty much okay with our uh, function right here now what needs to be done is we need to add some uh, for each method so that we can uh, repeat the animation for the each dots so um, for that one let's add dots dot uh, dot in dot for each and then for each we we'll add a jump we we'll invoke the jump um, constant we created and we can pass down the dots and the delay here as well so uh, and give it 
dv which is increment of 0 0.2 as well so i think we're pretty much okay with the, our animation with greensoft what have we done here is we just called the method dot do which is provided by the green shock and then we added some uh, special properties that are, and that can be defined like ease and then uh, a repeat and then yo-yo and we could also use a different kind of um, other properties as well but for now let's make it quite simple and I think we are pretty much done with our green shock loader right now so now let's move ahead and create this particular animation with CSS as well. Now for the CSS animation, what I have done is I have ripped off uh, the JavaScript part and I'll also uh, not import the green sock for now. And we will um, replicate that particular animation that we created with pure CSS. We can uh, create uh, a keyframe and call it jump dot. So inside this keyframe, we can add our zero percent, which is the initial percentage of the, our animation, and then add a hundred percent. And when the animation is uh, in uh, the duration of the hundred percent, then we want to transform and translate y axis to zero and then we'll add a 50 percent where we will transform and translate y axis to 15 pixel which is exactly the same value that we uh, played uh, with green sock as well which is the 15% 15, 15 jump from up to down so uh, now we can what we can do here is we'll add uh, another class for here right now and call it delay1 and then delay2 and then delay3 so that we can we can add some delay uh, for our uh, like these dots to jump so inside delay one we can pass down the animation that we created uh, which is jump dot and then uh, for one second 0 0.2 second of delay and then we want it infinite and the type of animation would be ease in. So let's replicate it with delay two as well. And then we can increase this to four. And uh, for the delay three, uh, we can use jump dot and then add six seconds. Oh, there is a mistake it should be delay 3 and yeah it's pretty much working fine now so yeah uh, we pretty much coded our uh, loader with um, the green sock versus our loader with CSS so uh, in a scenario when uh, we have more than one keyframes in CSS it's actually a uh, hard to maintain and read through the code so uh, the delay of CSS moreover is not pretty accurate in a sense. So, so trying out GreenSock, uh, which is an awesome library that you should learn uh, if you are into web animation. So guys, I hope you got some initial basic ideas on making a loader with GreenSock versus CSS as well. I think I'll be covering more uh, advanced animation with GreenSock in my upcoming videos as well. Uh, so this was quite a basic uh, kind of uh, green sock experiment so thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys want to learn more about code design and anything more uh, please uh, like share and subscribe with a click down below 
I will try to make more better videos like this. See you in the next one, guys.